Well, greetings, friends. Thank you for joining me. Well, it's that time of the year when we begin to reflect over the past year and anticipate the new year. Well, in fact, in the news, you'll probably see this week a, a listing of many celebrities that have died in 2022 or maybe some major events that have happened in 2022. But I'm asking you today is what have you done this past year to affect the future? I'm not talking about You've made more money that you can buy more things or maybe leave uh, more money for your family or, or, or those types of things. But I'm talking about in a spiritual sense. What have you done to affect the future in a spiritual way that will last eternally? Well, I, I think about the, the movie uh, Saving Private Ryan. Some of you have heard that. And, but the movie opens up with Private Ryan as an old man kneeling at the tombstone of Captain John Miller, the, the man that had come and saved him and given him life, uh, allowed him to live a future. And, and the last words Captain Miller said to him was, earn it, earn it. It was a heavy sacrifice that was made for, for him to live. And as he's kneeling there as an old man, he's asking his children, have I lived a good life? Well, what he's saying, he's reflecting over the past to see what he's done. Has he made a difference in, in his family's life? And I'm saying to you, my friends, that, that I think it's important for us to examine what we have done. Have we made a difference in someone's life this past year? Have we influenced someone for the better this past year? Many politicians, they will, they will boast about all the things they've done in the, the year to make a difference in people's lives. And, and some of that does make a difference in people's lives, some to the positive, but, but some to the negative also. You may not agree with what they have done, but they do make a difference. But we're not talking about in the natural sense. We're talking about in a spiritual sense, because only what we do for Christ will last. The only things that's going to last forever are those things that we do that that are pleasing to him, that will change people's lives in an eternal manner. And so I encourage you today, and this week we're going to be looking at this and preparing for the upcoming year. You know, a lot of people make New Year's resolutions, and unfortunately many of those resolutions uh, are not fulfilled. But I say this week, I encourage you to begin to prepare your hearts to, to for this upcoming year, 2023, and what we can do to influence others, to help others, to make a difference in their life. But first of all, we need to do what's going to make a difference in our life. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you back again tomorrow. Bye-bye.